Sbambeni Sbambeni Watinta tina Watinta tina Watinta tina Watinta mabube Watinta tina Watinta tina Watinta tina Ama pubes Watinta ma pubes Ama pubes Watinta ma pubes Ama 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 pubes Watinta ma pubes Ama nda Ama nda Wimpi mpura ma pos we be in Pura Mapos. 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 Hi, Urma Post. Hi, Ura Mapos. Ura Mapos. Ura Mapos. Ura Mapos. Ura Mapos. We be in Pura Mapos. We be in Pura Mapos. We be in Pura Mapos. Amanda, you must repeat that everywhere where you go. That Ramapos are Kim Pimpi. What are to Ramapos? What I got to Ramapos? What I got to Ramapos? Magasus or Ramapos? Magasus or Ramapos? Wimpi in Pura Mapos? Umula Lura Mapos? Wimpi in Pura Mapos? Umula Lura Mapos. Amanda. Thank you very much, uh, Provincial Chairperson, and your officials, together with elected provincial leaders, our convener of the elections, and the coordinator, and all commissars who are deployed here and those that came to come and be part of this important meeting, our regional election task forces, sub-regional election task forces, branch election task forces, and uh, our PR councillors and ward councillors. So when you acknowledge councillors, you must distinguish them so that others must know, they must not think they enjoy the same rights as the ones who won the wards. There must be a difference. <laughs> PR councillors and ward councillors. <laughs> uh, former public protector who is a member of our uh, parliament, and um, I've, I've heard that Ngrai is also here with other comrades who joined the EFF, former leader of the EFF in the Central Command Team and Member of Parliament, Dr. Vauda. Uh, I've seen uh, uh, Godrich's mother here, yeah, our former SG, the mother of the former SGs here, with the wife and uh, the other sister-in-law. The reason why they can't be introduced as guests is because they are ground forces themselves. So they are part of everyone here. And I learned this from uh, Commissar Godrich that we should actually make everyone in our family to be a ground force. They have to play one or two roles in our branches, either as party agents, as volunteers, um, others who have money, they should adopt the words where they come from and support those words 
of the EFF directly from uh, our families. So my wife is not a volunteer, uh, Godrich's wife. When you leave here, you must call her <laughs> and tell her that Zbambe Mpi and then we must all come together and find, help our husbands to fight this battle. It must start at home and go and fight this thing. So I know you will go do a very good job, I trust you. Um, because if I go and say she must be a volunteer, she's going to tell me about the children, about the house, about this, about everything in this house is done by me, now I must still go to the EFF. So she can't say that to you. Because when she says children, you say, I've got children too. When she says the house, I've got the house too. And I still volunteer in the EFF. So comrades, this is a very important meeting of the EFF where <clears throat> election structures of the EFF come together to make a reflection of their readiness towards 2024. Um, some of these slogans I was chanting are slogans that our comrades were chanting in the 80s. So when you say 2024 is your 1994, it means 2023 must be your 80s. Because there was no 1994 without the 80s. So the agitated youth of the 80s that fought tirelessly in response to the call made by O.R. Tambo for them to render South Africa unworkable, an apartheid government ungovernable. The youth of the 80s, nonstop, they fought to a point where in 1985, if not 1986, the state had to declare state of emergency twice in one year. So when a state of emergency is declared, it's martial law. The law enforcement do as they wish. They don't care what happens. They were beating the youth. They were killing the youth. They were burning everything. That youth doubled their efforts and were never intimidated. The state declared another one in an attempt to suppress that anger of the youth. So if you want 19, 2024 to be your 1994, you ought to embrace the spirit, the defiant spirit of the fire eaters of the 80s. And those who think and believe that the ANC will survive in 2024, you must pity them. When they say to you the ANC is going to win the elections in 2024, you must say, Ah, Hashem. <laughs> because they are in denial and they are unscientific. So when they say to you, but what are you basing your argument on when you say the ANC is not going to win the elections in 2024? You must tell them, it's not me, it's Ipsos. And Ipsos is the research. And research is science. It's not emotions. It's not anger. It's not whether I like this one or I don't like that one. Science say the ANC will not win the elections. And then ask them in return, why do you say the ANC will win? I gave you the answer. They're going to tell you a long story. We were in exile. We fought in exile. We are Mkonto Wesizwe. Hey, what, what, they are going to tell you a useless history that we celebrated and we are now charting a way forward. We saluted them, we celebrated them, we honored them, and they did not return the favor. So standing here today is the government of South Africa come 2024, whether they like it or not. <laughs> Comrades, Sometimes you must sit back and ask yourself a question. What was going to happen to South Africa if there was no EFF? Where were we going to be if this organization was not here? Where these people were doing as they wish, and they still are doing as they wish in the presence of the EFF. 
and the EFF keeps on exposing them and exposing them, but they are not retreating. Imagine if there was no EFF. It would have been worse than what we are experiencing today. Our people will still be swimming in a pool of confusion, will be still swimming in a pool of lies, because EFF opened people's eyes. Yafita Yabula Parliament, Parliament became the people's parliament, but Basatibur Parliament has got a channel on TV. Today, people know there is a channel on TV of Parliament because of EFF. They can follow and they can see corrupt people being exposed. It is EFF that made the youth to once more be interested in politics. The youth of South Africa were drifting away from politics and saying this thing is not helping us, it's not useful to us, let's go and just drink alcohol and drown in drugs. The EFF is gradually doing away with youth political apathy. And when they say to you, why do you say that? What are you basing that on? Say to them, go to each and every university, go to any TVET college, everywhere in South Africa, the EFF is in charge because the youth of South Africa have got full confidence in the EFF. Even where the EFF is not in charge, the EFF won the elections. They just went to do some mushikashiga to remove the EFF, like in the University of Pretoria, right at the center of racist, white supremacist. The EFF went to take power there. And you can't say this is an organization of illiterate people who Malema is uh, misleading. Those kids at the university don't want to become councillors don't want to become members of parliament. They know how to read and write. They know how to analyze, and they know what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. The EFF makes sense to young people of South Africa. It is this youth that knows that for us to be who we are, we'll have to reclaim our land. And who brought the land question back into the table of politics of South Africa if it's not the EFF? The EFF, in, with the land question, seeks to ensure that our people's dignity is restored. Comrades, if you don't have a property, you are nothing. And not only in our society, even in your home, where your mother who gave birth to you never stops to remind you how useless you are. Because I own a property. You are reminded by your mother, not by some white person, by, not by a neighbor. A person who loves you never stops to remind you how useless you are. EFF is occupying land and giving people stands. That's what land does. How sna lebala usna jarata when they give inputs about the date of the burial. When you start making an input when Waka back room. Or no, I was thinking maybe the burial must be on Saturday. No one else, your mother. Ah, uh, Julius. That's what happens. But when you come from your own property to come and attend a family meeting, but see, or no, if you live a fit hilesham, Alaba de Linga and Jauja. They prepare some food for you because but our people have arrived. That's what the land does to us. We are nothing without the land. And there will never be a dignity of any sort without the land. 
The war in Palestine is not a religious war. It's a war over the land. So the land is a source of everything because we get to be born into this land. And once they take it away from us, what else are we left with? It is the EFF that has made the people of South Africa how important is the land question. Today, people know that the land is important. Even the children, our children, who go to Model C schools, who go to white people's schools, when a white young boy makes them angry, they only saw a word they used to insult this wise. They say, you guys stole our land, you guys. <laughs> Everybody knows where the, who is the thief. So never stop to remind them wherever you see them that you stole our land and we're going to fight and retain it back into the hands of the rightful owners. <laughs> because it is our land. Comrades, we have been subjected to mediocrity in South Africa, where black people are not included in the economy or in the social sphere of this country. You know, if there is a man who has done us worse, worse, is this guy who is the president now. This guy, whatever Mandela, Zuma, Mbeki, had achieved in all those many years, it took him less than five years to reverse all of that. Single-handedly. If there was a person who was a BEE in ESCOM or SAA or DINEL or any other big thing you want to think of, all of them today are no longer there. They have all been removed. And they were not removed by Ramaphosa's declaration. White people went to them and said, we no longer need you. We've got the president now. So what, do you, what BEE are you going to help us with? Every, hey, you know, now let's tell you, I'm going to go, go, go. Let's go, the biggest township here. Kanyamazan. Today is very rare to can point at anyone in the township or anyone in the suburb of a black skin who's got money today. No one. No one. We were building houses in the villages. We were taking our kids to the best of the best schools. In the last five years, all of that has been reversed and they call it corruption. But no, a Ramaphosa came and he fought corruption. Corruption means that there should not be any black person with money. Because black person and money is equal to corruption. All of that has been reversed. Legitimate, not corrupt fools. Corrupt fools who have no time for them legitimate business people who are doing their business honestly and feeding their families honestly, all of that has been reversed. So when you go into this election, you must know that the gains, the little gains of 1994 have been reversed. So people don't have jobs. White people will never create jobs for us. The only way the jobs can be created is that the economic empowerment must be spread amongst ourselves and through our small and medium enterprises we'll be able to employ three, four of each other. That's how you create jobs. There are no jobs because SMMEs and all those people who are involved in economic empowerment have been closed out. As a result, there are no jobs. Go and look at how was the percentage of unemployment before Ramaphosa came in, and what is the level of unemployment today. Our people live in hunger and poverty. They don't have homes. Women are beaten 
every day without any form of help. UDBDJD summit, gender based violence summits, and those were not summits meaning anything except PR to appear like he's doing something about gender based violence. Really, summiting your gender based violence. Where are the outcomes today of that summit? If that was not a PR, if it was real at helping women who are victims of gender-based violence, where are the results today? The economy is not growing. When he came in, they said to us, the economy is going to be big under Ramaphosa. There will be jobs. There won't be corruption. Corruption has tripled, if not four times, under him. There's no accountability. When the public protector tried to hold him accountable, he fired him, fired her. Just sending her questions, she didn't do anything. She didn't call him by big nose like I always do. No, no, no. <laughs> she just politely sent him 30 questions. And that was a crime. To a man who said, I'm the transparent man. I'm a man who's accountable. I will always be available to you. Aba bina bina ya brayu. Brayu must be turning in his grave. Ar tumami na. Ar ar tumami na nyo chon chakang kwa ubifa. Tumami na kahaib upala ki accountability. Today, mom pumalanga mo ubo dilimu. This place is rotten to the core. I get to why there is no permanent protest in the streets of Mpumalanga on a daily basis because here, corruption is the order of the day. <laughs> you know, uh, when the people of Nkomazi elected the EFF, you think, oh, I know, it's us. No, it's us, yes, but they are tired of corruption. They are tired of thieving. Huh? Our own young woman elected with more than 60%. More than 60%. That is a huge sign of confidence. And if you can't build from that, you must know you missed an opportunity of the lifetime. You will never get it again. Ngwenya led the way. 60% victory, not muza muza, decisive victory, and you ought to follow in 2024. So comrades, there will never be anything in this province if there is no action on the ground. I mean, you must ask the people of Sand River there. They didn't have water for seven years. No water. But you can be guaranteed they stopped water to, uh, in that area. They will go now and give them water. And the people of St. River will clap hands and ululate, not seeing that these fools are playing with us. For seven years, there is no water. All of a sudden, the ANC is about to lose elections who are getting water. Open your eyes that someone is playing with us somewhere. Because they think that we are fools. We are going to receive this water. We are going to drink it on our way to the voting station where we are going to remove the ANC from power. <laughs> so, I mean, here in Mbombela, the reason why I came today is because I asked the guys to check the weather forecast. If they said it was raining, I was not going to come. Because there's no road you can drive in in Bombela when it's raining. There is no water, the storm water drainage system in Bombela. I mean, it's Apula Ina. The whole town is full of water. Because when you design a road, there must be a storm where the water gets to be channeled into and then leaves the town. That money of the storm was eaten. Because you don't know about the storm water drainage system 
All you want is the tar road. They give you a tar road, but it's an incomplete tar road. When it rains in Bombela City, the water is to this level. No car can move because monies have been stolen. And this is supposed to be the main city of this place. So if things can happen here in Bombela, then forget about Mariti, the <laughs> Department of Education in Nelspreet has failed to build a single classroom, not one. I'm telling you facts, and I want you to, the reason I'm telling you is because I want you to challenge them. That show me the classroom you have built. You have never built a classroom yet. Yeah? And that then means learning and teaching will never happen in Mpumalanga. Yet we said to our children, go to school. Our children are in informal classrooms. Our children go to attend classes under threes in Mpumalanga. This is the province where monies for classrooms were eaten by the politically uh, connected. Comrades, we must never allow that coal must leave this province of Mpumalanga because we are coal. Without coal, there is no Mpumalanga. The day they close coal and close coal power stations, that's the day you are all gone. And by the way, coal is everything. There is nothing we can do in the economy of South Africa without coal. And when they say, no, we are polluting, we are messing up the environment, go and look at research. We contribute very little in the pollution of the world. The biggest polluters is China and Europe and them, yet they don't say to them, close your coal power station. They come to us the weak so that we can engage in just energy transition where money exchanges hands, where the politically connected have got now the license to produce independent uh, electricity and sell it to us. If electricity gets to be produced by independent power producers without involvement of ESCOM, me and you will never afford to have electricity. Electricity is going to be for those who can afford and the rich, and we know who can afford. It's white people. I bet sometimes they create an impression that no, Malema, um, Kwebani, they are members of parliament, they are rich, they can, hey, 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 hey. Ah, 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 ah. You know what you say about to him. Baba ba electricity and give it to the hands of private entities and exclude ESCOM. Even us members of parliament can't afford that electricity. We don't afford it now when it is under ESCOM. Imagine when it gets privatized. It's going to be double the problem where we have no problem with independent power producers. Let's not stop them. Let them produce the power they want to produce. But don't stop ESCOM from doing the same thing. Let them produce. Let ESCOM produce. Let's all be competitive. Our people must still have an alternative state provision of power in South Africa. So we're risking losing 50,000 jobs if we don't stop this nonsense that they want to do here in Mpumalanga. And without those minds, you can forget. But Bubu Sylvia Numalo Shembo Meraba Bushback Rich. Ay, man, about right, Bo Nagarba, Gutsuja. About the little Jaja de Cole, Gilbo Janga John. They are not paying attention. They don't even know what's happening. Ah, Bu Sylvia Shemai. Sylvia went to ban offices of the municipality, apparently, when the SIU went to investigate Bushback Ridge there about the corruption that has been taking place in that municipality. 
they are stealing in that municipality of Bushburg Ridge because they think it's in a corner and no one uh, can see them. Magagula. Uhira the relative Kongwa Mazigua. Lema ANC out talk at the qualification. When she is challenged, the problem. Or no, EFF people are disrespectful. But we must fold our arms and not do anything. When people who are not qualified are hired into positions of responsibility because they can sing the loudest ANC song. By ready slogan, yes. If you don't know how to sing a, a songs, you don't get employment. That's why there is no the drainage system in Mpombela because head of technical services was at the time chairperson of the region of Satu who was teaching history and has got nothing and no knowledge on technical services. Because la Satu la Kosatu. So, bo pindi le ba eza ntwe ukamola. Bo saseka ni manzini. The the most incompetent human being in the Department of Health, very useless. Comrades, there are no medical equipments in the hospitals of Mpumalang. There is no medicine in the hospitals of Mpumalang. The gogos in the province of Mpumalanga don't want to go to hospitals because they, when they are sick, because they say, you want us to go and die. Because they see those hospitals of Sasekani as a mutuary. But what is more painful, public protector, is that if there is a blood on the floor, there are no even chemicals to just mop that those uh, blood on the floor. A person just comes with a mop and water and do away with the blood. But the human blood needs more than that, especially in a hospital. Our hospitals here in Pumalanga can't even clean blood on the floor. Yet, there is no protest of the EFF in Mpumalanga to stand up and say it cannot be business as usual. It can't be that so much is being collapsed in this province and there is nothing you can do. Sasekani akakopana lezo tiela bariki mandla lepichi lela bariki mandla ndovu Lamuchaba Barubulaba to Namo Nanga Munchas Pug Nagamuchab Manda Barutama Lady Gangstamu. He goes into clubs with gangsters and what one? Mandam Sib Mandam Sib Bautamo. Every big contract, Bumandam Drov, Bumandam Sib, Busa Sekani. Barry, you must give us 10% of every project that you are getting here in Mpumalanga. Otherwise, you will not work here in Mpumalanga. What type of life is that? People are given contracts here. They can't complete the contracts because politicians have taken the money. So the people of Siangoba village, they were given RDP houses. But... There is no clinic, there is no road, there is no water, no electricity. And then from there they say to you, we gave you an RDP house. We are not looking for RDP houses, we are looking for place of settlement. Our great grandfathers and mothers, when they were coming down from the north of Africa, descending into the south, you must go and read history. They've never settled where there is no water. They always looked for a river before they settle. They don't just settle. The people that came in the old, old days to know that you can't settle people where 
there is no water. You build RTP houses in a bush. In a bush. And say to people, we have given you houses. And our people must accept that. Those are not houses. You have dumped us. It's a camp. It's not a house. What house is that without water, without electricity, without school, without a place of worship? In their planning, they don't have, these are RDP houses. They don't have a shopping complex. They don't have a, a place of worship. They don't have a school. They don't know where the road is going to pass. That's why they can put an electricity pole right in the middle of the road. Because there's no thinking that is being applied before doing anything. So, comrades, Mpumalanga is the province of crime. There is huge crime happening here. We came to this church to bury Godric's child as an evidence of how people get killed in Mpumalanga and nothing happens. Till to date, Godrej still doesn't know what happened to his child. So if they can do that to a member of parliament, former secretary general of the EFF, the federal is high profile, is everywhere on the TV, where police are supposed to show that we've got capacity, let's demonstrate. If they can fail such a person, what about those who stay at the border of Mozambique? That people get killed in Mpumalanga, nothing happens. Cash in transit in Mpumalanga has gone very high. There's no one who can do anything about it here in Mpumalanga. Police are in the pockets of criminals. When you speak, they kill you. When you speak, they kill you. That's why our Uba whistleblower is police who go and tell people that it is so and so who brought the information here about you and then when we go these people who killed Godrich's daughter were told by a traditional healer after they killed this child they went to the traditional healer they cleanse us. What is the problem? They explain. The traditional healer goes to the police. The police come, arrest the people. Right? No problem. The criminals are arrested. Boom! The traditional healer must come now and give evidence. It's dead. Nowhere to be found. How did these criminals know that the traditional healer gave information to the police? Then the next thing, there is some ugly fellow who's being brought. No, it's not those ones. Uh, it's now this one. We've got, he even confessed this one. We'll never know justice. That's why Godrich must sue them. At least Godrich is a lawyer. He can afford to sue the state and get something out of this. Many people in Mpumalanga go through that without any justice. Senzo Mewa's father went to grave crying about his child. Today, Senzo Mewa's mother is the one now who's crying the loudest. She's going to live without knowing justice. When you look at that case of Senzo Mewa, you can see it is, it is being messed up deliberately. Judge work on the basis of the evidence before him. The evidence and chain of evidence is being messed up so that the, the real killers of Senzo Mewa cannot be found. If they can't find Senzo Mewa's killers, we're now man. Captain Yaba Fana Bafana. Not Bafana Bafana ya Mushata, ya Uluza. Ya Bafana Bafana ya Uwina, the real captain. Ya Pirates, ya Bulaiwa. Till today, we don't know what happened. 
That is the story of the people of Mpumalang, where people get killed and there's nothing you can do. Comrades, I'm not complaining, I'm just sharing with you the ideas and the things that you know, that as you are here as a ground force, you ought to be thinking, how are we going to tackle these issues? Because you can't be a ground force if you don't appreciate that being a ground force, you are an epicenter of a revolutionary shift in South Africa. That you are the lifeblood of the revolution that is about to happen. And for you to be a ground force, you must always be ready to lead from the front. You can't be a ground force if you can't command the attention of the community. If you can't motivate the community, if you can't agitate communities, what type of a ground force are you? Because a ground force must be someone who's all-rounded. You must be an all-rounder as a ground force. So in truth, I'm a society. You must go to society. When there is a funeral at home there in the villages and townships and men are cooking at the back there you must be there cooking with men in the village there a guru ground force that's a ground you are listening to real issues of communities that get to be said and censored without being intimidated by microphones and cameras. People are speaking freely. A ground force must be there as the eye and the ear to appreciate those community issues that get to be said at that level. You cannot be a ground force if you can't differentiate an authentic protest in the community an ANC faction protest. Because in the community, ANC, Councillor. How I wish I knew Swati and Develo so that I can use them interchangeably to reach you direct. Because I keep on speaking Spadi and it's wrong. Uh, so you must differentiate factional battles of the ANC from authentic protest. Because this one wants to become a counselor. All of a sudden, the counselor is not performing well. Then he mobilizes communities to go and fight the counselor, not necessarily because of service delivery, but because once this counselor is removed, I'm next in line. So a ground force must have the capacity to distinguish from authentic and factional protests that are happening and do not join factional protest of the ANC. Always be part of authentic protest of communities and lead them from the front. Comrades, you must always know the grievances of the people and make sure that you are committed to resolving those problems of the people. Comrades, you must know what constitutes your what? Maf mafia. Mafia. Mafia is a very dangerous name. Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> eh? You must know what I know what constitutes my what. I know all the schools. I know all the clinics. There's no clinic. It was there. It's finished. ANC apartheid gave us clinic. ANC came to close it. I know all the churches in my ward. All of them, I can call them by, by, by name and I can give you direction. I know who stays next to that church. I know who stays next to that school. I know my communities by heart. Three weeks ago, I took the children from the two high schools in my ward, the matriculants, took them to my place called Mikit in Pulukwane, had lunch with them, got the speakers to come and talk to them. Because I speak to them all the time, so they are so used to me. So I said, this one, Malangan, okay. 
Maybe we Come and talk to them. I got Vuyani, got former Miss South Africa to go and talk to the kids. And then I got Lekau of Drip to donate the Drip shoes to, for the kids. Took them out of the township with a bus into a different environment so that they know whoever told them you are going to die here, they are not going to die here. They've started a journey of getting out of that township. You must do that and do it genuinely. I'm telling you now, you don't know about it. I'm telling you now because I want you to do things that I will not ask you to do if I don't do them myself. I've never asked you to do anything I don't do. If I say it's time to put up posters, I put up posters myself. If I say to you, look after your parents, I look after my parents myself. So look after your word and know those people by names and know all the dynamics. Even when you can't help them, even when you can't change anything, they just know or mafia cares. From there, what's a Maya Shemua League? People like a leader who tries, not some absent leader who never takes an effort. Now, we are going to elections. You are going to be the first one who will be going there. Hey, we are from here. When are you from here? Okay. But, Nelly Legai, where were you? Baobona every day. They know you are here. But, but where were you? They are not asking about your diary. Where were you during our suffering? Where were you when it was raining and water came into my house? Where were you when my child, pregnant child, was about to give birth? We called ambulances, asked for cars everywhere. We couldn't find a car, but the council of the EFF has got a buggy and he could not be found anywhere. Why does he have a buggy? He wants to tick a box, or when the leadership comes, I don't know, but he doesn't know what is the job of the buggy. Where were you? They are not asking you about the diary. We went through pain during COVID-19, ANC giving people food parcels through say names. Where were you, EFF, to stop them at that time and make sure food parcels are distributed properly? Nelly guy. Today you are here asking us to vote for you. Don't think they are not watching. They are watching. And they know all of you as you pass them and not greet them and not help them with anything. Comrades, you must have answers to every question they ask you. How do I have answers? Read. Don't read Twitter. Don't read Facebook. Read political material and literature so that you are aware of what's happening in this country and you can give answers. It's so disappointing to do a door to door and you are asked a simple question you can't answer. You can't answer it because you, have no, you are not ready. Comrades, when you are a leader, by virtue of being a branch election task force conveners and coordinators, you are leaders. So when you are a leader, you are a doctor of society. You are a doctor of society. So as people complain, you don't join in the complaint, you join in the provision of alternative solutions to their problems. Because when they see you, they see a doctor. Huh? You are going for a surgery. They put you in a theater. I want to go, Dr. Vauda will know this. In a theater, you are so helpless. They are about to inject that thing so that you can sleep. You are crying. You are in pain. Because you South Africans like people, white people. A white doctor comes in. You're like, who? Oh, I believe this is doctor. I know. I could fall. Today, I. What's the pain in your life? It's in your doctor. You feel it. You go from a distance. But the doctor has arrived. You're the doctor has arrived. The attitude here we are changing. I'm hoping now I'm going to be healed. 
as you are about to, to be made to sleep, the doctors start crying like you. Come out theater, he, the doctor, he. Abadoba na ukumula ula ufulu wa mpitu ula urahai. Yega sakonera, ye. Ya mutu anuwa ula u. That's what you are. When you go into communities, they complain, you join in the complain. You are like a crying doctor in a theater. Provide an alternative solution. Comrades, a fighter cannot be overwhelmed by emotions. You can't be overwhelmed by emotions. Everything has to be dealt with in a properly calculated manner. As a ground force, you can't be overwhelmed by emotion. Always make a calculated move and do not make emotional decisions. Because if you get overwhelmed by emotion, you must know the revolution will not be advanced. So we have to make sure that all the ground forces do not hold grudges and squabbles permanently. So, you are not a good fighter if you hold a grudge against another fight. We don't hold grudges against each other. We raise issues, we finish them there, it's done. Now, this, some of these comrades think I've got bipolar. I don't have bipolar because I scream at them now. And then the next thing when they find me on the other side, I'm a completely changed person. We dealt with that issue, it's done. We are moving to the next one. How can Tsarala di Graji, Ukwe Namuni, is not my problem. I'm not there. I'm not here to hold grudges against anyone. Comrades, when we were growing up, we called each other Makabani Lebukolen. We said Makaban. So Makaban concept was explained to me by a petty speaking man. But I doubted him, but Dali confirmed it the other day when I was speaking to someone. Or Makaban is those people who go into an initiation and then they're supposed to put that uh, powder that they put on themselves. And that powder must cover the whole body, including the back. And it must be beautifully done on your body. But you can't do it at the back. So someone must come and put it at the back. And then after he finishes doing that, you must do the same to that person. That's how they called each other Matabani. That's where the concept Matabani comes from because by Akabani. And then that, they're doing that, the teacher is waiting outside. In the initiation, yeah, there is no mam pepper. Everything must be done to its perfection. Then you don't know whether this person has perfected you at the back. But you have to trust him because it's your caban. You have no mirror to see at the back. This person at the back is your mirror. This person is your comrade. You know that I will never leave this place if my back is not proper. A comrade of mine will stop me and say, let me perfect it before we leave. So when you are a leader, when you are a fighter, when you are a ground force, you don't have to look at the bag because if there are fighters at the bag, you know they've covered your bag, you have to confront the enemy. Because if you have to fight the front and the back, you will not succeed. You ought to ask the question today, whether you've got such a person in the EFF who is your Lekabani, a person I can trust that he's got my back. We ought to have each other's back. If you, are, if you did not have each other's back when you were coming here, today you know what Matkabani means, and if you are Matkabani to each other, you've got an obligation to have each other's back. What does having each other's back mean? It means 
if you die, your children will never go hungry. You don't have to see me. You are not here. You are dead. You are a comrade of mine. Your family will never die of hunger. That I will always know where your children are. And if I don't know, I will dare to find them. Because you are my likaban. It goes, it goes to the grave. It goes to a point where you say, we will die next to each other. We'll be buried next to each other. That's what you are saying by sitting here. And if you are not saying that, you are in a wrong place. Because here are the people who are prepared to die next to each other in the same place. How do I say that? What proof do I have that these people are ready to die next to each other? It is because they are all here under one roof and they oppose capitalism and they oppose the ruling party. They can be bombed at any time here in this hall. Yet they took a risk and said, I will die where my comrades are dying. And therefore I'm going to that meeting. Comrades, you have given yourself a huge responsibility. You know, how Lele Kabane Laka, if you are my Lekaban, you come to me now, Mr. Malema, then I leave business. I'm going to 50,000, I'm going to 50,000, I'm going to 100,000, business, I'm going to 200,000. Then, I'm going to 50, I'm going to 50, I'm going to 50, I'm going to 100, 100, 100. And then for some reason, that business doesn't make 200,000. It makes 150,000. You came to me. I never came to you. You came to me. You are going to take that 150,000. Take your 50. Give me my 50. And give me the 50 you promised me. Because that's a man of integrity and honor. Or no, Munola. From there, after doing that, I can buy Ziger blow me or eh? Let me tell you the real story. Care what happened? Robert will one fifty one. Can not go for under the tail or go on a good sepishi. But the reality is that after everything, whenever done, dusted, if I'm your lecabane, it will go and ah, you can't do that. Let me take from that 50 you gave me 25,000. So, to be a Lekabani, to be a man of honor and man of integrity, is not an easy thing. It's doing the right thing when no one is looking. Or impress. Huh? Did you see now yesterday bar EFF? No, we bar EFF. Bar umpile urumeji proof of payment. Ya Afri forum. E e bar we dealing ya fraud. Ya fraud. Fraudulent proof of payment to Afri forum from Standard Bank, which was a lie anyway. I was in Kenya when those things were said. I was like, it's not possible. But Makabane Arena IEFF were believing that lie. Were believing that lie and even joined in the attack of the leadership. A lie that was peddled by the most dangerous enemy of the EFF called Afri Forum. How do you believe Afri Forum over the leadership of your organization? And then come into this hall and say, Ramakaban. And then you attack the organization and the leadership with ease. You never wait to hear what does the leadership have to say about this matter. Never attack your organization and its leadership in public. Because we are being attacked by a lot. We cannot 
afford to be attacked by you. The platform is here where issues must be raised. All of you, when you leave here, branch, election, task force, coordinators, and conveners, you are going to establish VDETFs in every VD in the whole of your branch. Because your branch is not your VD. Some of you think your branch is your, is your VD, where you come from. Some of you have got 11 VDs and they are far from each other. So you have to go and establish VDETF there. So you know the EF, even if I'm not there, there are people of the EFF in that corner who are looking after the election work of the EFF. And it is your job as BETF to make sure that those VDETFs are serviced. Most of you go and establish VD structures. They will see you that day. They are going to see you the other day when you are looking for the election results. You don't service your VD ETFs. You, for God's sake, you are a branch election coordinator. What are you coordinating if you can't coordinate the VD? Your job is to coordinate the VDs. Code co co coordination. <laughs> coordination. Huh? Coordinate. You coordinate the VDs. You don't go and launch a VD and disappear. You launch a VD ETF, you visit them every weekend. There must not be an activity of the EFF in one VD. They must rotate different VDs of the branch activities. That's how you are going to produce activists. Activists come from activities. You can't be an activist without activity. Activist, activity. <laughs> so you must know that for us to be activists, we must have activities. What are the activities? Netball competition, soccer uh, competition, uh, cultural day, uh, uh, tournament, the drum majors, anything that keeps our community busy is an activity. March for crime. You are from a village, there is a stock theft. So aren't you very much your roots were the poor for long? And a match while in your match can't be the same size as FNB. Whether there are 50 people, whether there are 40 people, we're starting. We're going to march. Our village is too small. It will never have many people. Even if they come out, all of them, there will never be many. So some of you see an event being small. You think, ah, it was not successful. No. It's a very successful event. How? We're keeping communities involved and active. So don't look for massive events because you may not even have the resources to do so. Whatever little thing you can do to keep your branch busy, your community busy, do exactly that. Comrades, the people who look after our votes at VDETFs, it must be people who come from there. Don't say in the nail spread, what is the um, Godric suburb here? Amagugu. Yeah. So you don't say no. At Amagugu, we can't find people. So we're going to take people of uh, Kanyamazan to come and uh, be volunteers here and be party agents here. The people of Kanyamazan, when it says seven and the darkness is starting, they are like, you? My insia mo. They start looking for transport. They get into a transport out. Magugu, hey, what are the, the numbers there? We want the results. There's no one. Why? They, they ran for cover. They went home. 
Because those things of counting, they are going to finish at 2 o'clock. There is no one here who is going to take us home. We are living. That's why you must get the people who come from there. And they don't undermine each other. When they are from there. I don't know what they know each other, they will never even intimidate each other. They lose and win together and walk together back home. They accompany each other. Why? The most likelihood is that they are even relatives, those people. So why do you want to give someone some headache which can be resolved by the people who come from there? Whether we finish at 2 or at 3 o'clock, home is just here. From the school, after counting, I walk home. That's why we're saying the VDETFs must be people who come from there. There must be registered voters of that place. There must be residents of that place. Through that, you are halfway through. Your job is almost done. Because, let me tell you a secret. It doesn't matter who votes for what. What matters is who's going to count the votes. So we ought to make sure that we look after the votes, even after voting. Comrades, our campaign is person to person. Door to door, church by church, school by school, where we see people, we talk to them. No unnecessary rallies and what, those things you do after. We are going to speak to everyone who is on the ballot pay, on the on the voters' roll, and we don't just do door to door. Uh -uh. They are door to door, sorry, canvassing shit. Sorry, voters' roll. What's your name? Reo chega mola re chega re bolela le mutuaneti na. Hey, we must do door to door voters. Don't worry if you don't have voters roll. Don't worry if you don't have voters, I mean, canvases sheet. It's not your job. It's a job of these ones. If, you, if I come, you say, we don't have canvassing sheet, you don't even have to panic. You'll just see people sweating behind you. you. <laughs> yeah. You must have canvassing sheets. Where? Yo, where are we going to get that now? Yo, voters' roll, where are we going? Hey, hey. It's not your job. These leaders must give you voters' roll. These leaders must give you canvassing sheets. They must always make sure that our structures are serviced. So, fighters, please, when we do that, don't use violence, don't threaten violence especially against women who belong to other political parties and women who belong to the EFF. Don't use violence. Don't threaten violence. We are going to run a clean campaign. People must elect us based on our manifesto, not because you intimidated them. Fighters, we don't remove posters of other political parties. Rather, go and put up your own post. Agra on activity. Unyagobal activity. Remove EFF posters and put them back again if you are bored. Don't remove other people's posters. Comrades, don't disrupt other people's meetings. ANC to a meeting, don't go and disrupt. Please. Allow them to campaign freely. Do not prevent anyone from exercising their political rights. Comrades, do not stop other people from other political parties from doing door to door. So there where I come from in my township, there's a huge informal settlement called Juju Valley. We took it when we were doing land occupation. We are housing not less than 4,000 families. Settled properly. We even did the roads and uh, it's a proper place. And then when we took the land, 
It's the land of some white men we took. And then he came, he said, yeah, Mr. Malema, hey, the land, get okay, what are you doing with this land? Because there's no fence, there's no, I'm going to build this, and I said, okay, tell me which part you are prepared to separate with. He said, okay, you can take from here to that side. That, okay, fighters, we take from here to that side, don't go this side. This man is going to build middle-income houses, shopping complexes, and, 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 and. Okay, no problem, this side. Then chief, come in. When you build those houses there, you don't think you can pass some water into our shakes. <laughs> Area is doable, look at it. Sewer, toilets, eh, is doable. Eh. Electricity, eh. Are, eh, I will do. So I got water, electricity, and sewer from that gentleman of a white person. But he has not started building. So I told him, well, if we, by the time uh, this year finishes, I don't see action, I'm occupying the other side as well. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is, those EFF people there then say to ANC people, Mo, you mo. no one's going to enter here. You are not going to campaign here. Everyone who, sit, who stays here, vote for EFF. Everyone. No one can enter. No, but don't do that. You can't do that. Allow them to go and campaign. That is going to give our people an opportunity to tell them right on their faces. So why are you denying our people an opportunity to come face to face with these thugs and tell them on their faces that you are criminals. So don't stop anyone from campaigning if your message is strong. Comrades, no candidate must be insulted of another political party and no violent language must be used. But worse, none of you must campaign for the EFF under the influence of alcohol or drugs. <laughs> so I went to address the uh, former PP in Houting. I'm like, you comrades must not drink alcohol and go and campaign for EFF. That, that event was too big. I think it had 6,000 people. Ah, when they clap hands, yeah, it's very big. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Kaur Girli. We miss your bureau. Now come on meeting. Do not campaign under the influence of alcohol. Do not speak to people smoking cigarettes. Um, look at now. Hey, it's funama vote, lah. It's funama vote. Ah, 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 yeah? You know, God, God is God, he smokes a lot. He, nobody knows when to smoke and when not to smoke. So you must know when to smoke and when not to smoke. You cannot smoke talking to a potential voter. Comrades, there are people who just love alcohol. It's a problem of our society. In a bush bag reach, it's even worse. Yo, Moladiavu, a bush bag reach. All political parties, PPs, not EFF only. Next week, they are the voter registration. You must go to Bushba Bridge. Every table, a political party. It's already caught home. So, Ghana, maybe Giri, now, Baba Bantu, ANC, EFF, what? Ah, Lee DA, it's already Bushba Bridge. They are working on it. I get to be a solver, you are. But please do not drink alcohol. They love the EFF. They're with us. They're always wearing our regalia. Know how to use them. Take him to a cooking center. Take him, put him somewhere. And then you know when we are done, we'll go and call him and be together. Because we are a people's organization. The problems you see in society, you are going to see them in the EFF. But let's try and manage them in the EFF. And you as leaders, you are even worse. 
you cannot drink alcohol. Comrades, you must always be clean. Be clean. Because a lot of comrades think that when you say you must be clean, they think you are saying they must wear expensive. Mm -mm. Just be clean, especially when you are wearing an EFF regalia, wear a clean EFF regalia. And you must smell good because I know those things are expensive, but we must try smell good. Because you are walking into someone's house. Out and a fella, Utsena Lele Kwafa. The armpits are smelling. And then you say to these people, We are going to give you jobs. Barle Kwafa, la no. The Kwafa of America. Always know that, and these are lessons you must carry even in your life, private life. That you dress up the way you want to be addressed. By how you dress up, people will know you want to be addressed in this way. Because that is so unattractive. Remember, guys, when we are campaigning, we were proposing Rafria. Rafria. You are selling yourself. But before we buy your product, we look at you. Before we eat this food, it doesn't matter how nice the food can be. But the presentation, if it's not proper, we won't touch it. Because before Be very careful. Not to lose voters, not because you don't have a, a good message, but because you don't look like your message. And therefore your message appears to be too good to be true. So please, once you do all of that by be sending a pos positive message, it doesn't mean we can't criticize the ANC. It doesn't mean we can't criticize the DA. It doesn't mean we can't criticize the president. No. We are just not going to engage in violent activities. And it doesn't make us cowards. We just don't want to be provoked. Because we don't provoke anyone. That should be the spirit within which we are going to carry forward this campaign. Fighters, uh, you, you don't just say, I'm not the one who said they must fight. I never said, CIC said, we must not incite violence. Therefore, uh, I, I'm not the one who incited it, so I don't care, even if it happens. No. Don't incite violence, but if violence happens, condemn it. Condemn it. Condemn <laughs> You must condemn it. Or we are not going to have violence. We are going to have a peaceful election. Comrades, we must make sure that activities of the IEC are supported by us. If the IEC comes for rate of voter registration, what, how to teach people to vote, we are there to support the IEC, but also make sure IEC doesn't employ SATU members because they are well-known SATU members and SATU leaders. You must object to them. Why? Because SATU said is going to vote for the ANC, and SATU is an affiliate 
of COSAT, which said it's going to vote for the ANC? How can a party that said it's going to vote for the ANC run the elections? So you must object to any Satu person who's known in your community because of that. Help the IEC with every investigation, report everything to the IEC and the police. And at all material times, do not speak to people before you introduce yourself. You must greet and introduce yourself. So, I think even here in Pumalanga, Colin, you don't do door to door during Skim Sam. A Skim Sam is a TV, not door to door. A generation need Dalamo TV, not door to door. Seven o'clock prime time news. Leba naba it's a bag. I don't know what to do. Don't do bad. Yo, 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 yo. Let noise here fast. But what do you mean by the way? It's news time. So pace yourself. Know the timing. What is the right time to do door to door so that you avoid being an irritation? You must never be an irritation. You are going to attract the votes. Don't irritate the people you want them to vote for you. Comrades, listen to what people are saying during door to door and write it down. When you don't have an answer, don't answer. Because you are going to make fool of yourself and by extension make fool of the EFF. I'll go and ask my leaders. Then I will come back and be true to come back and give them the answer on that question you could not answer. Comrades, never be disparate to appear smart. Just be genuine. These are your people. Speak your, the language they know. Don't try to speak English and try very hard. No, don't, don't, don't. Just be yourself. And then answer genuinely. They're going to ask you, what are you going to do with load shading? You must answer it without hesitation. We're going to stop it in the EFF because load shading is man-made and is done by the ANC because it wants to outsource electricity generation to their own people. And we are going to come in, service the coal power stations, build more capacity of generation, and invite the outside world to come and help us to build a well-resourced power generation in South Africa. China can help us. Russia can help us. When you have a problem, you don't sit and just say, no, I will see when to help you, uh, to, to solve it. Uh -uh. You must cry for help. And other people will come and help you. When you say China can come and help us to build a very big, powerful coal power station, it's because they've got it. The biggest coal power station is in China. They've got it. We don't have money. Yes, let them come and build it. Build, operate, transfer. We said to them, you are going to operate it. It's yours for 30 years. After 30 years, you hand it over to South Africa. You leave South Africa. They leave us with an asset that we have not spent a cent on because we failed to build Kusili. For so much money was used. Still, there is no product. Tell them we are going to create jobs because all of these state-owned companies are going to work under the EFF and they will create more jobs that all of the minerals of this country will be beneficiated here in South Africa because beneficiation means processing this mineral into a finished product. And that's a job creation. That's a job chain. When chrome leaves Skukuni into Richards Bay off to China, 
Chrome is going to be processed into steel. Those people who are processing it into steel in China, chrome into steel. Then steel comes back to South Africa as a finished product. Why? That's why you don't have jobs. It's because you are consumers. You are not manufacturers. South Africa under the EFF will be a manufacturing country. We are going to turn South Africa into a construction site because we will build all of the collapsed infrastructure of water, electricity, roads, hospitals, and all of those facilities. Comrades in Niger, those comrades did a coup and removed France puppet and then put Revolutionary Council to run Niger and then chased out the soldiers of France out of Niger. But France, if Nereka uh, uranium, Yako Niger got 200 rand. Matagala was not take over through the coup. But France, you are no longer going to buy uranium got 200 rand. You are going to buy it got market related price, and market related price is 2000. From now onwards, you are buying uranium got 2000. France needs that uranium. They are buying it got 2000. As a result, Niger's economy under that military council is one of the fastest growing economy in Africa. <laughs> Nothing happened. Asanga mudimu atewe, asanga ba paseba dimu ba bolai di puri. Nothing. The political leadership had a political will. And it said the stealing of our uranium is going to end today. If you want our uranium, you are going to pay, and you are going to pay the market price. That money is coming in now, into Niger. The people are going to benefit out of it. How are you? the same way we did in 2010 World Cup. Any political leader accused of corruption with prima facie evidence shall be tried in the special court of corruption so that that case doesn't last long. We arrest you in less than no time, the matter is resolved, you are in jail. Once people know, once people know that Corruption is punishable and people are arrested and these are the people who got arrested. They are going to stop. People are doing corruption because they see that there is nothing happening 
on corruption. We are going to build state-of-the-art schools in South Africa where education is going to be fashionable. We want to make public education more qualitative than private education so that people must choose public schools over private schools and school must be free because you can't buy education as if you are buying a cake. There must be a difference between education and a cake because education is not a commodity. It's a right. And once they say this is your right, it must be free of charge. There must be clinic in every ward that operates 24-7 with proper security looking after the nurses and the doctors and the equipments that are provided in that particular clinic. And primary health care must be free of charge. All of these are the things that you are going to confront when you do door-to-door. -door. But you've got answers. Where are the answers? In the EFF manifesto, in the EFF founding manifesto, in all of the documents that we have given you in the EFF, your answers are there. You must be clued up, Pell. Out and I'm going to talk about what we're not going to do. But I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. Lord, you are my very good. Your tabana pig. And then the village a little, little mungare, na le ranna. Eh, but Lord, you are my very good. Ah, mungare na malle mauta abon. Eh, eh. We na mola ubengo na mola. We na malle ma mola. You are the malle ma of that branch. You are the Malema of that VD. Without you, there is no EFF on the ground. And then you are going to give them the solutions. Lead our people from the front. Stop taking a back seat. Our people are looking for an alternative. They don't know where to find you. Go to them in the farms. Go to them in the factories. Go to them in the universities. Go to them in the suburbs, in the township, in the hostels, everywhere where a human being can be found. Go and sell the wisdom and the solutions of the EFF. Do not be shy. A fighter is not a shy person. Do not be scared to speak to the rich because you are poor. Do not be scared to speak to the educated because you don't have metric. You are metric is the founding manifesto of the EFF. Your metric is the beret you wear. Don't doubt yourself. Your own teachers who knew you struggle with maths, go and check them one day wearing an EFF beret and look at how their attitude changes immediately because they know on top of your head, you are wearing a superior logic. You can answer every question that they give you on that day. We are going to war now. And you can't go to war without being equipped. You can't go to war unprepared. Because if you go to war without being prepared, just know you have lost the war already. Rian Twain. We are going to fight for our land. We are going to fight for our mines. We are going to fight for our banks. We are going to fight for decolonized free education. We are going to fight for the jobs of our people. When you stand up and go home today, you must know that you are beginning a journey to victory of 2024. It starts here, it starts today. It can be led by cowards. If you are a coward, you can be part of us. If you are a coward, you must know you don't belong here. Here are the people who are going to fetch victory in 2024. Amanda! My soul, man! My soul, man! My soul, man! 
No makubi siaya siaya no ma bese tubola besishaya besibopa no ma bese tubola Bessi Shaya, Bessi Bopa, No Magubi, Siaya, Siaya, No Magubi, Siaya. Siaya, no ma bese tu bola, besi shaya, besi bopa, no ma bese tu bola, besi shaya, besi bopa. Who left? Who right? Human son. Who left? Kita. Kill a man. Kill a tabata. Samarumo. Samarumo. I say, cha. Where were you when I'm sitting? Where were you when I'm dreaming? So fast, get him. I'm away. So fast, get him. Etlati. Kichi 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 ma Sipram Konto Alliance Shoot to kill Kill a man Shoot to kill Yamasa Brr pa Pa Brr pa Pa Tenshin Amanda, Amanda, thank you very much, uh, President and Commander in Chief, for the workshop. It was mouthful, we have learned a lot. I think we are ready now as fighters. Sangish. Nieba Savana. Nieba Savana. I will now call upon the provincial coordinator to do announcements. Or oh, provincial secretary. P.S. Amanda, Amanda, Viva EFF Viva, Viva, Viva EFF Viva, Viva. Oza 2024 Oza. Uh, thank you very much, Provincial Chairperson, the convener of Nkangala. Let me take this opportunity and greet the President and also say to the President, Relukwil. Let me take this opportunity to make the convene our in our province, our election task force, the, the Treasurer General Umpilwe Maute, lay our coordinator, Mamrinelwe Mashabel, and all the leadership of the province, all the SRETF, the RETF, and all BETF conveners and coordinators and councillors and all ward councillors of Mpumalang. Uh, um, seven, so I'm in Mungani. 
My job is to make announcement. Announcement to Guti Masugala, there will be four set of tables or stations last year to Lakona, Oguya Itunjin or Ugush. And it says Lega Kulmanj, Manjas Yoketelela and Apande. And we want to take this opportunity and say to all BETF conveners or to all ground, ground forces of the EFF, travel safe, arrive alive because. Uh, the war has started, and we cannot start the war without you. So we must make sure that we arrive safe. Abu taxi driver be to or ama transport but drive safely. Amanda, Amanda. Thank you very much, Provincial Secretary. We will allow the president and officials to go out first, and then we can all go through that door. Uh, and then get the food. Sponga kulu ugus patagatli. Green, we have been a good audience. The meeting is closed. Vumagam Nandi Labo, DJ. We wanted them to remain seated. Yeah, remain seated, remain seated. We'll let you know when to go. Remain seated. The president is still going out. As Dali Vumagam Nandi Labo, DJ. In Gondo, it's Lila says, Suit is excellent. Siso says, Dealing as in Togo says, Selling as a Susie. 